हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल डॉक्टर इन वाइट सो आज की हमारी ये वीडियो होने वाली है मोस्ट कॉमन पेस्टिक क्वेश्चन फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्ट इन द एफ एग्जाम तो ये वीडियो आपके लिए बहुत यूजफुल होने वाली है अगर आप ये देख रहे हैं फॉर द जून 2023 एग्जाम और प्लीज इस वीडियो को एंड तक देखिएगा और ये पार्ट वन है पार्ट टू भी हम दो दिनों में लाने वाले हैं सो यू डोंट मिस दैट पार्ट प्लीज हम लोग जाकर सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और आपको अगर ये वीडियो पसंद आए तो लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन सो है क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट स्कैन बाई ई फास्ट सो हमें सिलेक्ट करना है वो ऑप्शन जो ई फास्ट स्कैन नहीं कर सकता पेरिकार्डियम लिवर बोवल और सी सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज बोवल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ई फास्ट की फुलफॉर्म ई फास्ट इज एक्सटेंडेड फोकस असिस्टमेंट विद सोनोग्राफी इन ट्रोमास सो इट इज अ बेस्ट साइड अल्ट्रा सोनोग्राफिक प्रोटोकॉल Designed to detect the peritoneal fluid, pericardial fluid, and pneumothorax and hemothorax in the trauma patient. So basically, E fast, our body me peritoneal fluid, pericardial fluid, and pneumothorax and hemothorax to scan करता है in the trauma patient. So we have basically six types of this pericardium: right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, supra pubic airs, right anterior thoracic, and left anterior thoracic. So the correct option is bowel. The E fast does not scan bowel. Question number two: Prophylactic antibodies to minimize the SSI are given as 60 minutes before the skin incision, one or three hours before the skin incision, or at the time of surgical incision, or night before the skin incision. So the correct option is 60 minutes before the skin incision. So जो हमारे को prophylactic antibodies दी जाती है SSI case में, that is 60 minutes before the skin incision. Question number three: Calculate the GCS of a patient exhibiting the eye opening on painful stimulus, conscious but confused and unable to tell the time, and exhibit the flexion on a painful noxious stimuli to the arm. So, we have basically in this question, we have to calculate the GCS of a patient. So, the correct option is option number C, that is pen. So, first of all, GCS is what is it? GCS is Glasgow Coma Scale, and it is calculated through the table as given below. सो इसके थ्रू हम कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं जैसे कि ओपनिंग ऑफ द पेनफुल स्टिमुलस हमें दिया हुआ है कॉन्शियस बट कंफ्यूज्ड एंड अनएबल टू टेल द टाइम एंड एग्जिबिट द फ्लेक्शन ऑन अ पेनफुल नॉक्शियस स्टिमुलस टू द आर्म सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी दैट इज 10 क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 अमाउंट ऑफ ब्लड लॉस इन क्लास 3 हेमरिक शॉक दैट इज 15 टू 30% 30 टू 40% 40 टू 45% और 45 टू 50% Here the correct option is 30 to 40 percent in class three hemorrhage shock. As you can see, in the first class the blood loss is 15 percent. In class two it is 15 to 30 percent. In class three it is 31 to 40 percent. And in class four it is more than 40 percent. So we have to tell about the class three. So it is 30 to 40 percent. Question number five. 50 kg patient has a burn. 40 Percent on his body surface area. So calculate the Ringer lactate flow to be given in the first eight hours. So this question we have to know. We have a patient that is 50 kg. His body is 40 percent area surface area body का burn हो चुका है. So हमें इसका Ringer lactate flow calculate करना है जो हमें उसको first eight hours में देना है. So it will be one liter, two liter, four liter or eight liter. So the correct option is four liter. ये हम calculate करते हैं एक formula से the total volume of The infused liquid is equal to 4 ml into the total body surface area, that is in percentage into the weight. और उसका half कर देना in for the first eight hour और उसका half कर देना next eight hour. So इसके लिए हम calculate करेंगे. So 4 into total body surface area into weight. So 4 into 40 into 50, that is 8000 ml. So हमें इसका half करना है, that is 4 liter. So the correct option is four liter. Question number six: Which of the following needle is used to suture the skin? Cutting needle, reverse cutting needle, round body needle, or straight body needle? So the correct option is cutting needle. Cutting needle हम use करते हैं suturing of the skin. Question number seven: Which of the following is the best parameter to monitor the response to the shock management? हमारा best parameter जो हम judge करते हैं shock management case में that will be urine output, respiratory rate, BP और CVP. So the correct option is urine output. So shock management में हम urine output का parameter judge करते हैं. Question number eight: What is the investigation of choice in hemodynamically stable blunt injury abdomen patient? That is UCG, 
testing in CT abdomen, MRI, or diagnostic peritoneal lavage. So here we will do CECT of the abdomen, and here it is the way it is done. So question number nine: Identify the procedure shown here for providing the nutrition. So how many picture given here? We have to tell you which nutrition is provided. A feeding jejunostomy. B percutaneous endoscopic gastrectomy. C central vein insertion or D Hickman line. So the correct option is percutaneous endoscopic gastrectomy. It is a procedure which is flexible feeding tube. It may flexible feeding tube used. It is which is placed की जाती है through the abdominal wall into the stomach. And so this PEG allows the nutrition fluids or the medications to be put directly into the stomach by passing the mouth and esophagus. So ये एक way है जिससे हम nutrition को mouth और esophagus के through नाप पहुंचा के directly जो stomach हम पहुंचा सकते हैं through with the help of the abdominal wall. Question number ten. What is the location of Kylian diaphragm? A below the superior constrictor b below inferior constrictor c below cricopharyngeal muscle or d below upper third of the smooth muscle and esophagus so hame basically location batane kylian diaphragm ki so the correct option is below the inferior constrictor as you can see in the image that it is located below the inferior constrictor and the diaphragm area of the muscular weakness is a triangular region as you can see in the picture it is a triangular region between the two pharyngeal and esophageal muscle the inferior pharyngeal constrictor and the cricopharyngeus question number 11 which procedure is done for the ranula management option a incision and drainage option b aspiration option c excision of the sublingual gland option number d marsupialization Here the correct option is excision of the sublingual gland, as you can see in the picture. Question number twelve: Which cancer in thyroid arises from the parafollicular T cells? Anaplastic cancer, medullary cancer, follicular cancer, or papillary cancer? So for the parafollicular cell in the thyroid, we will go with the option number B, that is medullary cancer. Question number thirteen: Fnac can diagnose all the following lesions except So first of all, we will see that full form. That is, fine needle aspiration cytology can diagnose all of the following lesions except follicular cancer, papillary cancer, medullary cancer, or, or Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So the correct option is follicular cancer. That Fnac cannot diagnose the follicular cancers. Question number fourteen: What in tumor is seen arising from a commandibular gland, parotid gland, sublingual gland, or minor salivary gland? So we will have the option number B, that is parotid gland. As you can see in the picture in the Wharton's tumor, that parotid gland arises the tumor. Question number fifteen: Trace the birth cancer size, that is three centimeter, and four axillary nodes in the axilla. So we have to decide which stage it is: stage one, stage two, stage three, or stage four. So we will go to option with the B, that is stage two. As you have the table, so we need to remember it and go. Solving these questions like this. So now, question number sixteen, which is the correct regarding the pyogenic orange in breast cancer? That is infiltration of the corpus ligament, infiltration of the subdermal ligament, or associated with the lobular cancer, or good prognosis. So we will go with the option number B, that is infiltration of the subdermal lymphatic tract. Now, question number seventeen, for sentinel node biopsy in breast cancer, where is the dye injected? Ideally, so we have to tell that where the dye is injected in the sentinel node biopsy for the breast cancer: A, subareolar; B, axilla; C, tail of the spleen; or peritumoral. So the correct option is peritumoral. As you can see in this, we have the sentinel nodes. So here is the injected dye. Question number eighteen: What is the diagnosis of the mammography of mammography picture shown here? So we have the picture given below, and we have to do the diagnosis for this mammography. So it is fibroadenoma, it is fibroadenosis, it is cancer breast, or it is Saget disease. So we will go with the option is fibroadenoma. As fibroadenoma is a solid breast lump, as you can see in the pictures. 
and these lumps are not cancer and it happens most often between 15 35 age or it can be found in any person who has period and it is febridonized it does not produce any sense of pain question number 19 which of the following is not done in cancer esophagus evaluation that is biopsy ph metric ct scan or pat scan so hame wo patana hai jo cancer esophagus mein nahi kiya jata so that is correct option is that is ph metric we can do biopsy we can do ct scan or we can do pat scan question number 20 gastric outlet obstruction leads to hypercholemic metabolic alkalosis hypercholemic metabolic acidosis or hyperentramic metabolic alkalosis or hyperentramic metabolic acidosis so we will go with the option number a that is hypercholemic metabolic alkalosis as it results from either the low chloride intake or excessive chloride wasting whereas low chloride intake is very common and excessive chloride wasting is often occurs in hospitalized child and usually result in diuretic therapy or nasogastric tube suctioning question number 21 congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis present at day 3 3 weeks 3 months or 4 years so we will go with option number b that is 4 weeks achalasia cardia present with all except increase less tone normal peristalsis proximal dilation or malignant drift so we have to tell about the ascalasis present in which and which not. So we will go option this, option number B, that is normal peristalsis is not the case of achalasis as we have increased vegetation tone in achalasis, proximal dilation or malignant risk. So basically achalasis cardia hota hai. It is a rare disorder that makes it difficult for food and liquid to pass from the swallowing tube connecting our mouth and stomach so basically is case mein hamara hamara food swallowing mein problem hota hai matlab ki jaise ki food ya koi bhi liquid hai usko hum swallowing to get esophagus se mouth se hum stomach tak nahi pahuncha pate so you can see in this normal case the food comes and goes 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 but in this case there is something that blocks the pathway question number 23 bor hawe syndrome is spontaneous rupture of esophagus Traumatic rupture of esophagus or tear at G junction or foreign body esophagus. So the correct option is spontaneous rupture of the esophagus. So basically Bohar syndrome is also known as effort rupture of the esophagus. It is a spontaneous perforation of the esophagus that results from a sudden increase in the, in, in the intraesophageal pressure combined with the negative intrathoracic pressure. So you can here see the picture arrow shown. Question number 24, what is the diagnosis of the barium anema? That is diverticulum, intersuspension, volvulus or fistula. So the correct option is intersuspension. That barium anema is an x-ray X -ray exam that can detect the changes or the abnormality in the large intestine that is colon. And this procedure is also called a colon x-ray. And an enema is injection of a liquid into the our rectum through the small tube. And this barium enema is an X-ray exam that detects the changes or the abnormalities in the large intestine. Question number 25: A 26-year-old male patient present with a rib pain and fever. So USG image is shown below. So we have to tell about that. So ये किस चीज की USG image हमें दे रखी है? So it is an acute appendicitis. So thank you for watching this video. And if you like the video, please, please, please that you like and or channel ko subscribe kariye. Because part two hum sirf two din mein lane wale hain. Aur maine bahut saari series leke aayenge. Most important question, most frequently questions, most common questions. Aur hum is channel mein bahut saari informative videos dalenge. So aap wo miss na kare to jaake please subscribe kariye channel ko. And don't forget to press the bell icon.